is the world flat? The second question is, how much money do you need to retire? Second question, I mean third question, what's the duet? <laughs> is a break from social media good for your mind and goals in life? And why did I get into YouTube? Why I really started vlogging is, it's a secret nobody really don't know. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Flystone Emotive and I'm back with another video. Yeah, man, today we doing a Q&A. I got some, I picked up some Indian vegetarian food, vegan food, whatever you want to call it. As y'all know, like I'm pescatarian and all I eat is seafood. Like I've been stopped eating chicken, beef, pork years ago. I went vegetarian for like five years, six years. Now I'm back eating seafood a little bit because I had to switch it up. I was eating too much processed. But anyway, fuck that. I want to start off with saying shout out to the 100 subscribers. <laughs> Round of applause, shout out to 100 subscribers. We finally hit 100 subscribers. It wasn't easy. We did it in a month. It always motivated me to, you know, keep posting videos, keep posting vlogs, and keep trying to do my thing, you feel me? So yeah, I just want to congratulate y'all. Y'all give yourself a round of congratulations, you feel me? Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, FYM underscore motive, so y'all can uh, be participating in the Q&As, because I, I posted on my IG earlier, trying to ask questions and stuff, but you feel me? I only got a few questions, so we finna answer the questions we got. You want to be in my video so bad, bro. You want to be in my video so bad, bro. Yeah. Go find something to do. It's my 100 subscription special. <laughs> but yeah, we finally hit that 100 subscription goal. Now we're on the road to 1,000 yeah. subscribers. This man brought the juice out the cabinet, gave me the cup. I guess I'll shoot my video later. I'm all at y'all. This take two, man. We trying again. Took the narrow upstairs, trying to see if I could eat my food in peace. We finna get into this Q and A. Just trying to, just trying to flex on my hundred, my hundred subscriber special. You feel me? Crazy. Now I about to get started. You feel me? Let me show y'all what we got. I got some chili garlic shrimp. That's this right here. Hope it's not spicy. I got some. Potato samosas. I really fuck with potato samosas, you feel me? My favorite thing to get when I order from Indian places. And we got some some chickpeas. Mm. Slow cooked chickpeas. I'm on my fitness diet, so I'm not really big on the rice. They gave me like a pan full of rice, but I ain't really too big on the rice. So I'm gonna go with the roti. So that's how we rocking. Start out with the potato samosa. And we go get to our first question. First question. Like I said, man, make sure y'all follow me on IG, FYM underscore motive. So y'all can participate in the next Q&A, you feel me? I know y'all, some of y'all just be following me on YouTube or TikTok or Twitter or whatnot. But if y'all want to participate in the Q&A, you feel me? Just let me know. Like I said, I'm start out with samosa because I love samosas. But we're going to get into our first question. Pretty good, pretty good. First question, is the world flat? I know y'all hear my dog over here doing a mukbang too. You feel me? Mukbang, mukbang, whatever you call it. But is the world flat? That's a question I ain't never able to answer because I can't say the world round and I can't say it's flat, you feel me? I can only go by what I know and what I see. I never seen the edge of the earth, so I can't tell if we could, you feel me, fall off that motherfucker or what? That might be the Bermuda Triangle. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just saying, for that particular question, if the world round or if the world flat, I feel like it's no real answer. Cause nobody knows, you feel me? We only know what they tell us. So, who knows? So that's the first question. The second question is, how much money do you need to retire? And that's like a, a tricky question because my answer was different from before. It used to be like a million dollars, five million dollars, you feel me? Now I need like 20 million to 100 million. 
to like really break that generational curse. Cause the way money work now, bro, you could be have a million dollars and a million dollars ain't shit. So I need to be able to set my kids up where De Niro have 10, Cho got 10, you feel me? Or I ain't gonna lie, I really been thinking on some shit like on some real Da Vinci code shit like I think when my kids turn 18, I'm gonna give them a certain amount of money. Like depending on how much money I got, I'm gonna give them like five hundred thousand to a million dollars, you feel me? But that's not all of their money. In the world, I'm gonna say just give them this at 18, don't let them know they got more money. Give them that money at 18, they might fuck it up, you feel me? A lot of 18 year olds fuck up a lot of money. I know when I was 18, I fucked up a lot of money. So I'm gonna give them their first set of money at 18. Tell them you can do what you want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. If you fuck it up, you fuck it up, but let you know how you could uh, manage money and stuff like that. When they turn 21, I wanna give them more money. You feel me? Hopefully, you understand how money works after blowing or having that first set of money when you turned 18. Because it might be something that they want to invest in, but they're scared to invest in. Because, you know, as black people, we like, damn, we want to get one shot at this. So if you save your money at 18, cool. If you blow it at 18, cool. If you're learning, you feel me, getting your feet wet, learning financial literacy, cool. You get one more shot at, well, not one more shot. You get another shot at 21. So if I give them 500000 at 18, I'm going to give them like, Two million at twenty one. Got a second chance. Got a second chance of breath air. Batting out against the wall no more. You got one more try. Get it done. Then when they turn twenty five, that's when I really give them the bread that I want to give them, so they could be able to set it up for their kids or their future and stuff like that. That just some something I was really thinking about. You feel me? Because if you'd have gave me a whole bunch of money at 18, I would have blew it. You'd have gave me some money at 21. I would have started investing it. But I don't know if I would have blew it or not. You feel me? I've just been here and there with it. But if you'd have gave me some money at 25, knowing what I know now. After having money, you feel me? Being used to it. At 25, I could say I'd really be like, okay, I done did everything I need to do. I'd have had whoop whoop. I'm good, got it out of my system, you feel me? But that's just my plan. I feel like most more black people need to set up their kids like that, you feel me? Get them this, spoon feed them, give them a lump sum, then drop that wad on them. That's how we go really like, really come up as a culture, you feel me? Second question, I mean third question, what's the joy? <laughs> the joy is, for me right now, is YouTube, bro. I eat, sleep. And breathe YouTube non-stop. If you come in my crib, wanna know what I'm doing? I'm watching YouTube. Watching other YouTubers studying. I'm low-key obsessed with YouTube. But I see that's how they say you gotta be if you really wanna, you know, get to that next level. Fire. I know a lot is good as hell. Without the rice, I feel like guilty pleasure. Let me see what it's uh, called. The slow cooked chickpeas, but I think it's called something else. Hold up, let me get this scoop. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I had the vegetable samosa, the chili garlic shrimp, and the China masala. This is China masala. And I got it mild too. I don't like really having it spicy. But like I said, what's the joy? The joy is YouTube, bro. You can literally come on here, be yourself, express what you want to express, talk about what you want to talk about, and people will sit there and watch it, bro. Like, it kind of blew my mind. Like, I told y'all I was finna upload two, three videos a day. 
And I barely do anything. I just talk to you guys, tell you guys how I feel, tell you guys how my day going. Sometimes I show you how my day going. And y'all really fuck with me. I ain't hiding nothing from y'all. I'm giving y'all the real, you feel me? But like I say, I tell all my homeboys, everybody I come across with, especially if they got personality, you know how to talk, do YouTube. YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to get back on my Twitch because a lot of people have been following me on my Twitch. I just need a, a better space to do my Twitch because I feel like I got to have that energy when I'm on Twitch. And usually when I was streaming was late at night when everybody was asleep. So I don't want to be reacting to videos whispering or screaming and talking real low. Cause I can't give y'all guys the real, you feel me? The real effect. I'm gonna say it one time. YouTube is a joint, y'all boys. Start your YouTube channel. You don't need a full camera, bro. Start with your phone. Just get comfortable talking to the camera. Be consistent. If you say you're uploading two times a week, do it. If you say if you're uploading three times a week, do it. But never go a whole week without uploading a video. And trust me. The joint gonna seem slow at first, but that joint start picking up. You feel me? Next question. We ain't got a lot of questions either, so we gonna much y'all like that. So we ain't gonna make this like no super long video. It's just a hundred subscription special, and I'm just keep y'all up to date. You feel me? Let y'all know it's good. Let y'all know it's coming. And answering a couple questions. You feel me? Is a break from social media good for your mind and goals in life? Yeah, I'm always say social media is like, that shit is a, so bittersweet, you feel me? Cause the way you can receive information and how fast you can receive information is very valuable and golden. But also, people's perceptions on Instagram make you feel like you ain't doing shit. But in reality, they ain't showing their whole situation, you feel me? With that being said, sometimes you gotta step away from social media and just get your mind together. When I'm editing, or thinking of a new video, or just trying to meditate, especially after a workout, I make sure I put my phone down for at least 30 minutes an hour. Put your phone down for at least 30 minutes an hour and see how much you can get accomplished. But people so addicted to their phone, first thing they do when they wake up, tour their Instagram. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm a victim too now. I told you I'm obsessed with YouTube, so the first thing I check is my analytics. If I see a one more subscriber, that's making my day. I don't care what you do. I see one, one more subscriber subscribe to my shit when I wake up in the morning, having a good day. Can't tell me nothing. Other than that, I don't really care for my other social medias. I post on Twitter, barely now. Instagram, it's pretty cool. TikTok, I feel like I'm lost in a cooking algorithm because I started with cooking. But I don't know. YouTube, that's my number one social media I always check. But even then, you got to take a break from that, too. Because YouTube had you fried. Watching everybody else on YouTube make you feel like you ain't getting there fast enough. In reality, your favorite YouTuber took them at least like three, four years to grow. I'm only on year one and only on month two or three on this channel. So we're getting the ball rolling, baby. When should kids stop trying to have fun and start planning their life and make money? That's a tough question to ask, bro, because you can't make nobody or you can't force nobody to want to do anything. With me, my old boy tried to beat it in my head early, but it took me to want to 
move a certain way or live a certain way. Why well, I start really getting locked in and start saving my money and start understanding what he used to say. So you could, the most you can do is make kids financially literal, financially literate as soon as possible. Probably like when they turn thirteen or fourteen. My nephew like ten up. No, my nephew like eleven, twelve, and he kind of get the gist of it. His father do stocks, option trading. So he kind of understand the majority of what's going on. But like I said, you can't force nobody to get into nothing they don't want to get into. Especially as kids. You force them to do something, they're going to want to do the opposite. You feel me? So I say at least just get them brushed up 13, 14 years old. So they well aware of what's going on, how to save. Open up savings, show them how to buy stocks and show them how to you know take at least 20 or 30 percent of the money they do save and invest it somewhere don't just sit in an account you feel me you sit in an account that ain't really doing nothing that's a lot of people problem right now they're scared to jump off that porch you take a risk and invest and if you're scared we're gonna be in the same place we always was forever so just jump off, take that risk while you can and while you have it. You feel me? Last question. Last question. We're going to end this 100 subscribers special Q&A. Someone asked me is, what inspired you to do podcasts and YouTube? What inspired me to do podcasts, you feel me? Because that's what I first got into. Um, As y'all know. You feel me? I was a musician at first. But if y'all look around and see the musicians right now, they ain't doing too good. You feel me? And it wasn't really on no ride the wave shit. Like I said, I really just got obsessed with YouTube. Like the first YouTube channel I really started watching, or the first YouTube I really started watching was Devontae Frieda. Just watching him go do pickup games. Me and my homeboys, we were so competitive about basketball, so I was like, you feel me? Let me just learn some moves real quick. So I started watching him and went down a real bad rabbit hole. I'm watching him every day. I'm watching old clips and stuff like that. Just him playing pickup games. I'm watching him more than the NBA, you feel me? And then watching him get more love than NBA players. So I'm like, damn. You could really be like a YouTuber and control your own like destiny, your own community, and stuff like that. And I always wanted that. But with music, you gotta buy a beat, go to the studio, pay for studio time, record the song. Then you gotta pay for a videographer to make your video. And it's like, damn bro, it's so hard to be consistent with music, bro. With being a YouTuber, I invested in my camera. And now the rest on me, you feel me? The rest is straight effort. It's on me to just get up, sit down and make a video for y'all, you feel me? I'm gonna stop, I'm trying to learn how to stop saying you feel me, but it's on me, basically. I get up, if I wanna make a YouTube video today, I'm making a YouTube video today, there's no excuses. So if I say I'm finna upload two, three videos a week, it's on me. Gotta hold myself accountable. Ain't nobody I gotta pay to help me do this or that. I really could just set my camera up and talk to y'all. Tell y'all how I feel. And why did I get into YouTube? Why I really started vlogging is... It's a secret nobody really don't know. I started doing a vlog because I started watching uh, Dove Family and DDG doing their daily vlogs. So I started doing a little bit. I really wanted to do a YouTube challenge. That's why I still do a YouTube challenge. But I started vlogging because, like, as y'all know, my old... Well, yeah, I don't know, but my old boy is paralyzed. He's a paraplegic. So he can't really get out and go to events and stuff like that. So when y'all really see me, like, doing my family vlogs, like Thanksgiving vlogs, Christmas vlogs, stuff like that, that's really so, you feel me? Like my old boy could feel a part of the family because he can't get up and go to his chair 
any given time of the night. You feel me? If we have a Christmas Eve or Thanksgiving Eve, he can't just get up and go. So I want him to feel a part of it. You feel me? So mainly my family vlogs is so my old boy could, you know, see what's going on, feel like he's a part of what's going on. And as y'all know, like, I be having everything going on. I be having people talking, people being themselves. Ain't no hiding, ain't no extra antics, not throwing no shade and stuff like that. But like I said, like, we be chilling, drinking, taking shots, probably eating some food. And now my boy finally could, you feel me? See what's going on. Like, we here. You can sit there and watch the whole thing the whole night. Laugh, joke. Like he did, you feel me? But yeah, that's the, really the real reason why I started vlogging, you feel me? I be out living my life. I want my dog, my old boy, to see how I be living, you feel me? On a day-to-day -day basis. My fans too, but I just want him to feel like, you know, he a part of what's going on. Yeah, but that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all like. Subscribe, leave a comment. Like I said, make sure y'all follow the IG, FIM underscore motive, so y'all can be a part of the next QA. I don't know when I'm doing the next QA, probably at the 200 subscriber special, probably 500 subscriber special. I don't know, maybe we might go straight to 1,000 subscribers. Who knows? This is a snowball effect, you feel me? All I know is I appreciate the 100 subscribers. I'm finna keep dropping, keep being consistent, keep giving y'all creative content. I'm not copying nobody. I really sit down and think about all my content, my challenges and stuff like that. I may take a little stuff here and there, but for the most part, I'm thinking about my own and creating my own content. And I appreciate the journey you guys are on with me. Y'all gonna be the first ones to really be able to say like, damn, why am I about watching Motive when he had 100 subscribers? Now you got one million. You feel me? That's just how it go go. Y'all here first. Y'all here to go through the rain with me. Y'all here to thug it with me. I appreciate y'all, man. So until the next video, man. Like I said, make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow me on IG. I'm finna finish eating this good food. I'm getting kind of full, boy. That roti, that roti got me. I ain't even dabbling in my shrimp, but I know that shrimp might be spicy. But yeah, we will catch y'all on the next month, man. Flossed on the motor, signing out. Hey, bye bye. Thanks for watching, bye.